My name is Carmelo Yapitan. This is my wife, Enriqueta. We came here in California in 1984 from Hawaii. I was in the military. When I came back from Vietnam, I met my wife in 1972. My cousin and her sister was married and my mom had invited them to come over for dinner. Oh my God. That's where I met her. So we got married in 1974. When I had my first heart attack, I was, uh, I used to walk with my dog every time. It happens that one of my son had was uh, passed by and he saw me. Then uh, four years later, I had another heart attack and that's when I had my first aneuplasty. They put a stent on me. And the third one, I had it like after three years again. I had another heart attack in 2007. And that's when I had my other angioplasty and I had two stents at that time. So it was really scary all through the years. I'm always scared every time he tells me I'm feeling a chest pain or I cannot breathe. So I told my husband, I think it is about time to ask a second opinion. It was my son who told us, go to Loma Linda and they are the best. That's when I was still having this heart rate going up and down every day. And Dr. Bardwa had decided to give me angioplasty at that time. I remember the day when I met uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lepiton in clinic. Uh, they were very concerned, uh, and so was I, to be very honest. Mr. Lepiton was getting short of breath, he was getting chest pain, and the most concerning thing was that he had a 95% blockage in one of the main arteries of his heart, and uh, it was very, very calcified. For Mr. Lepiton, bypass surgery was unfortunately not an option. Given the amount of blockages that he had with the arteries going down to his leg, we decided to put in this heart assist device and do the stent procedure from his axillary artery, which is the artery that runs right below the shoulder. Going in through the axillary artery is uh, relatively new. You know, there are only a handful of doctors and centers in Southern California that do it. So we actually went in from the left axillary artery, put in the heart assist device, did his stent procedures and, uh, and got it done very successfully. The other thing that made Mr. Lepiton's uh, procedure very complex was the amount of calcium he had in his arteries. We had to do a procedure called atherectomy, which is basically a diamond-tipped bird that spins at 150,000 rotations per minute. And uh, we actually drilled through his arteries to get all the calcium out. These coronary arteries, the arteries that supply the heart, are about two to three to at the most four millimeters in diameter with muscular walls. So that's what makes it so high risk. The most gratifying thing about this whole uh, story is the fact that he's completely free of symptoms and doing so well. I'm feeling very good right now. My heart rate is, is not going up. I don't have any chest so pain. I can see right now he's more healthier than before. He's still enjoying with my grandkids. And looking at him, he's happy and healthy. Let's make this love last till Valentine's. Let's spend this night together. Let this fire burn inside our hearts that are soaking all the pleasure. Now that the rain is slowly pitter patting, we are lost inside our lover's nest. We don't need the world. Need us, what if we'd stay like this forever?